Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2016 C2E2, and I'm here with Zach at the Diamond Select booth. We're going to talk about some of the new stuff they got on display here. So how's it going, Zach? It's going good. Thank you for coming by, man. Good yeah, to see you. it's weird. It's been like what a couple weeks since I've seen you last at Toy Fair. That was a pretty quick turnaround between conventions, so we don't have a ton of new stuff because right. we can't work that fast. But we got a few uh, exciting new things here that I think they're pretty exciting. Uh, awesome. You know, new license, even a new license. Really? So yeah. Okay, well, let's hear about all the new stuff then. All right, man. Alice Through the Looking Glass, uh, the new movie is coming out, sequel to the Tim Burton uh, Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland movie. Uh, we're going to be doing Mini-Mates for that. Uh, we're going to be doing... Um they're going to be doing select action figures. We're going to be doing PVC figures. And we're going to be doing Vinnie Mates, our new um, uh, semi-posable Mini Mate style vinyl figure. So um, we're going to be showing off of Mad Hatter Vinnie Mate at uh, the panel tomorrow. Uh, but we're, we have the Mini Mates assortment here on display. So we have the, um, the Alice, uh, Mad Hatter, uh, Red Queen, White Queen, uh, Time, uh, played by Sasha Baron Cohen, and also Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So uh, that's going to be a whole series. And we're going to do Cheshire Cat and White Rabbit exclusively at Toys R Us. Um, and uh, so they'll have some exclusives, especially have some exclusives. So you have to go to both places to get everything. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And um, we've got a new assortment of um, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 Mini Mates. Nice. This is our first stuff for the new game. Um, we are going to do figures. We're going to do action figures. But oh, the awesome. um, but the, so we're still developing those, getting approvals uh, sorted out, maybe even finalizing the lineup a little bit. But the, um, the Mini Mates are going to be start off with one box set. And uh, those are on display there. You can see the uh, the superhero character. I don't know all their names. Super Brains, I think his name is. Uh, the superhero and the uh, pirate character. Yeah. And uh, some new plant characters. Uh, the Colonel Corn, I think, is one of their names. But it's um, it's a really fun set. They're fun Minimates to make because it's trying to figure out how to incorporate Minimate parts into a plant design. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's, 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 it really pushes the uh, creativity of the Minimate design. Right. And they look really cool. Like, I was looking at those over there. They look fantastic. So I think fans of the game, I mean, that's just something else for them to, uh, like, eat up, man. I mean, yeah. the Plants vs. Zombies fans are numerous, and it's always cool to get new product for it. Yeah, Series 1 did uh, very well for us, and we're actually going to do another series of action figures based on the original game mm -hmm. exclusively at Toys R Us, and those should be out, I think, in the next few weeks to a month. So you'll see a whole assortment of, um, of, of action figures, including uh, the marine biologist scientist, uh, the welder engineer, um, the goalie all-star in the hockey gear, and um, then Toxic uh, Chomper, Toxic P, and um, Sunflower are going to be at um, at the uh, at the Toys R Us. And uh, Chomp, I think Chomper and, and the Welder are going to come with some bonus accessories that you may have seen in the select versions, um, like uh, the Chili Bean and uh, the Potato Mine, stuff like that. So. And these will be coming in like the two-pack style, or are these like the blind bag stuff? No, no, this is the, the two-pack blister carded action figures, gotcha. yeah. And uh, the mini-mates that we're doing are going to be a box set, like gotcha. that, that, okay. that big, um, bigger blister card. Okay, so, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we haven't done any blind bags for Plants vs. Zombies yet, but you know maybe in the future. But uh, the box sets worked really well for us the first time around, so we're going to keep going with that. Because that, the second set from the first series is going to be hitting very soon. I think at March 30th, the set with the uh, Wrestler Zombie and the Plumber Zombie and um, a couple new plants are going to be are going to be hitting stores. Fire P, I think, is one of them. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. So a lot of cool things going on with Plants vs. Zombies, yes. which is great. And um, well, what else is new? Gosh, we've got the um, a new series of Marvel Mini Mates that's going to be exclusively at Toys R Us. Um, the, it's uh, it's a mostly Deadpool wave, so it's a uh, first appearance Deadpool with first appearance Wolverine, uh, Hulk with Hulk Pool, and um, the last one is uh, a modern Deadpool with Spider-Man wearing all the cable bullet pouches. He's got like <laughs> nice. he's got two big guns and he's got a lot of pouches on. It's based on a cover that I think uh, I want to say Scotty Young did. I might be mixed up on that one. And um, that's going to be exclusively at Toys R Us. Uh, none of those won't be available at comic shops. They're just going to be there. Um, and then we've got some new pieces uh, from the. Um, from the DC animated line. We got some more busts there. Uh, nice. We got a Brainiac on display, John Stewart Green Lantern, and Martian Manhunter. And those were not a Toy Fair. Uh, we had a lot of Toy Fair, but uh, they were, we're still cranking them out. We're gonna be soliciting new busts every month for the next you know, year. We got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Awesome. Well, yeah, and it's great that even though like we're a few short weeks away from Toy Fair, but it's always cool seeing some new stuff. And it's really cool that you guys got some new things on display here. It's, it's always exciting for me because I get here and I don't know what's going to show up. Right. Uh, you know, <laughs> for those that was I knew more or less because uh, I put together all the cat the text for all the preview catalog every right. month. So I, I know we're going to be soliciting a lot of those very soon. But sometimes stuff shows up I'm not even I'm not even ready for. I'm like, what is that? I've never even seen that before. The this is the DC animated bus aren't aren't being solicited for any time soon. So they're really? just like, really? We're, I didn't even know we were doing these characters. Excellent. So it's it's uh, we just have so much stuff in the pipeline in production at any given time. We've got sculptors all over the world working on different things digitally you know hand sculpting you know just all over the place and we've got so many licenses and product categories it's always something new and different right. yeah. very cool 
Awesome. Well, Zach, thank you so much for taking the time to walk us through all the new product. It's always great to kind of get a nice up-close look at it up front before it hits stores. Great. Thank you for coming by. It's always a great time. Absolutely. Well, there you go, guys. A look at what Diamond Select has on display here at the 2016 C2E2.